To the toy store and beyond, right now kids are making their list of the many toys that they're hoping will be under their tree Christmas morning. And what better way to learn what the hottest toys are this season than heading to Toy Story Land in Disney's Hollywood Studios. So joining me this morning with some tips from Disney World, it's Marianne Skomanski. Okay, Marianne, there's always that one gift that parents just go crazy to find. What are the hottest toy trends this year? Well, the hottest toy trends this year are still based on technology and STEM learning. So Little Bits is appropriate for kids starting at about ages eight and up. And the whole idea behind this is using engineering skills and bridging that with creativity. So you're actually using bits, adding sound and movement and light to a toy that you create that you play with. And they have different sets. They have a hero set. They have music sets. There's different kinds based on different interests. But I always tell parents, the best toys not the most popular toy, the hottest toy around. The best toy is based on three things that match your child, and you know your child best. So one is age appropriation. Look in the boxes and make sure that you stick to that, especially for little kids because of safety issues. You don't want to buy anything with small parts or magnets. And the second thing is skills and interests. You want to make sure that they have the skills necessary to play because they want to open the toy right away and it gets frustrating if they don't know understand how to use it. And then finally, are they really interested in this? Find something that they really like. If they're a sports oriented kid, find toys and games that actually are using and incorporate what they're learning in sports, such as sportsmanship and strategic play so they can incorporate that into their everyday learning. I'm glad you brought that up because it can be difficult picking out toys as a child grows up. So how can we choose age appropriate toys for the kids in our family. It's so important to find age-appropriate toys. For example, exam, for example, Madame Alexander has a baby doll. It's very realistic to life. Little kids love to mimic nurturing and playing with babies, new siblings. You want to find things that are matching your child's current development. So really stick to that when you're looking for the right toys for your child. And you are in Toy Story Land, and that movie was all about loving classic toys. It seems like that uh, what's old is now new again. What's the appeal of all these great classic toys? Well, being here at Toy Story Land is the perfect place to talk about this because we also always have that emotional development to the toys we played with in our own childhood. So classic toys that you know are still available that you can find, such as Miss Pac-Man, which is in a mini arcade version now. A lot of millennial parents played the Oregon Trail. You can find that in a card game. Yo-yos, Rubik's Cubes, Chemistry Sets, Spirograph, all the classic board games. And the fun is making memories together. So when you give the gift of Disney, for example, and you come here, you want to bridge that play along with all the fun that you have at Toy Story Land, feeling like you're in Andy's backyard. Well, can you tell us a little bit more about Toy Story Land and what we can expect to see on our next visit to Walt Disney World? They have three great attractions here. Behind me is the Slinky Dog Dash roller coaster, which is appropriate for all ages in the family. There's also the Aliens uh, Saucers, which is really fun. It's a movement ride, and also Toy Story Mania. But the whole idea of being here is being here and enjoying your childhood, your past, and introducing that to your, to your own child. And starting in January, Disney is actually offering more entertainment in all plans through September. And last question, where can our viewers go for more information? For more information, you can go to my Instagram page, which is Toy Tips. I'll be posting a different toy every day through the holidays. And for more information about Disney, you can go to Disney.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.